I think that Professor Tichua Mainu seemed to have prepared for me. That's fine. So I am asking that I'm a boxing connoisseur. So let's get it on. I mean, next week, Friday, whatever date that she wants, I will meet her. In the first edition of the bar, she says that I'm her junior. So what, madam? I wouldn't have responded to this, but that's fine. I don't know when you were called to the bar, but I was called to the bar in 1990, almost 34 years ago. So if 34 years ago doesn't mean anything at the bar, then I don't think that you have an appreciation of the best tradition at the bar. By God's grace, I was trained by one of the best lawyers this country has ever had. I don't know what practice that you are at. So what do you mean by I'm your junior at the bar? So what? Mr. Mwene, okay. will, now that now, you've responded to one aspect. To me. My mm -hmm. dear, look, you left her to make these statements against me. And, we give, and we give you an opportunity please, to also please, respond. Please, listen to me, yes. So don't cut me. You listen, you, you were sitting on the television, you watch her making these disparaging comments about me, you never try to correct her, so allow me to speak. Believe me, I'm saying let's get it on next week. She has said a number of things. First of all, she says, oh, we have an agenda. Really? You don't have an agenda? Mm -hmm. You think we don't know those who are behind you? By the way, a doctor mentioned retired Supreme Court judges who looked at our law. How can give you even the names of members of the bar who looked at our law? And they are very proud members of the bar, right? We are not afraid to show those who are supporting this. You are talking about, oh, if they are uh, pedophilia, then they, they, they can be arrested. Do you know what homosexuals do? What are the practices of homosexuals? A lady of your age... You are saying that a man should take his penis and push it through the anus. Is the anus the orifice for sex? Madam, I'm asking you, Professor, is the anus the orifice for sex? And you are saying that, oh, we already have them in our society. Of course we did have them in our society, but we never encouraged it. If you say you are an anthropologist, you should know that. Show me. I don't know where you come from in Ghana, but I will challenge you to show me the place where you come to, from in Ghana. Me and you, Kafiri Kadoche, we will go there to your village. I am a fancy man from Cape Coast. My mother is from Cape Coast. My father is from Agnodobi. We will go to your hometown, Dr. Uh, uh, Professor, I've forgotten your name. We will go to your hometown and we will argue over there and we'll see what your people will think of you. How can you say that our culture accepts a thing like this? That a man should take his penis and put it through his fetus? And a lesbian, what do lesbians do? You tell me. Lesbians open their vagina and people put all sorts of implements there. Look, let me share this with you. You are saying that it is a hate bill, it is a hate bill. By your demeanor, I, I, you know, I feel very sorry for you, trust me. Because I have spent my money and we have built a holistic sexual therapy system. We're spending thousands of CDs on people who are into this business. The church has supported us. So we don't hate anybody. The hundreds of them come to us. 99% of them that we test, they are HIV positive. So don't sit there and tell me it is a private matter. Of course it is not private. When they get into these difficulties, we are the ones that receive them. Dr. Pia could be sitting there. He's dealing with people. So he says, oh, we put intersex. Really? You don't even know. As I said, we have deleted it from the law. In any case, who are intersex people? Do you deal with intersex people? We are dealing with intersex people as I speak. We are taking them through our medical system, and we're going to take them through surgery. This poor young day lady who cannot even go to school. That is the, the way we are, what we are doing to respond to the problem. So don't tell us that, oh, we hate. This is a hate bill. Hate bill from where? Who hates who? Look at you sitting down there telling us that we hate. We who are spending the money to cater for these people who need help, who, need, who are challenged. And then you are saying, oh, let them do everything they want to do in their private, even if they're putting their penis through feces. How can that be medically later right? Later on, actually. Do you know the pain that people go through? Please the, allow the, Mr. Mwini to make his point, and then we'll, we'll get the ahead. The people people who put on pampers. Have you seen a homosexual before? I am asking you, are you a homosexual yourself? Are you a lesbian? Have you seen <laughs> any homosexual before? Do you know what lesbians do? what lesbians do people are having sex 
through the anus. You're having sex with animals, and you are telling us that, oh, that is fine. You are an anthropologist. Really? Anthropology that allows a man to put his penis through feces. A billy, a billy, fumu. Is that right? <laughs> and when we have come together and you are saying, oh, it is coming from abroad, says who? Look, this legislation has nothing to do with uh, uh, Africa, world, uh, you know, Congress of Families. The Congress that was held, held here, let me tell you, we funded your trip here, if you get to know. To we paid for your trip here. This legislation was drafted by us. has nothing to do with anybody. And look, you probably, as I said, you always talk and you say you've read the legislation. Have you read the part that says that if somebody verbally assaults or physically assaults a, a gay or pe persons engaged in uh, the, the offenses that are created under the legislation, those people will be punished? Have you read that aspect of the law? Have you read the aspect of the law that says that there will be care, treatment, and support for people who are, 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 get involved in this sort of thing? And that during trial, investigation, sentencing, and even when they're in prison, if they recant or they realize that, oh, we have a problem, so we need help, that there will be care, treatment, and support for such people, are you aware of it? You haven't read the law, and you are just saying, oh, it is a hate bill. Who hates who? I am sorry, don't worry, we will do this again. And I'm telling you, we probably will not do it in GBC. We will go to your hometown. I am challenging you on television. Tell us where you come from. 